Hey everybody, this is B Sports. Really, uh, really awesome day today here. We finally have in uh, the 1875 Pro V Bass. Uh, that's a new model for Lund for 2016. Uh, Lund's finally getting in the bass boat market, um, which is really good to hear after everything that Lund's been doing with their other fishing boats. Uh, they're taking a nosedive into a market they kind of haven't been in and man they just they really hit the nail on the head here with their first uh, their first bass boat so we're gonna take a look at everything I'm gonna try and not miss anything but there is so much stuff on this boat that it might get it uh, I might let something fall through the cracks here so we'll get right to it so it, this is obviously black now it is a uh, it does have some glitter speck in the paint um, which maybe I can I could show you when I get up closer here, but it's 18 foot 9 And it's got a 96 and a half inch beam now. This is just the 1875 Pro V bass It does come in a what they call an 1875 Pro V bass XS The only difference being that instead of the bench seating like a typical bass <clears throat> excuse me a typical bass boat uh, it has like regular swivel seating a little bit bigger open area where the seats are. So we'll go through the trailer here quick. Got a non-marking bow roller on a Shorelander trailer with a swing tongue. Got Lund logos. Now this is what they call their custom trailer. So what that gets you is the diamond plate fender, the nicer mounts for the fender. Um, you have LED lights as well. And you do have the built-in straps on it. Now this one's got a 200 horse Optimax on it, which is still the way to go with bass boats. So we'll kind of take a look at the exterior here. We'll see maybe if I can get on the other side and I can get some light where I can sort of see the paint. But it does have the Pro Track system for putting the cover on and off. This here, in the, uh, the unfortunate event you do end up out of the boat, That's your ladder to get back in. It's actually really stable uh, for that kind of just single, single support ladder. And it's really easy to get in and out. I mean, slides right in and that little pin locks it. So like I said, let's see if I can get over here and kind of get in the light. I'll show you kind of the glitter speck that's in the paint. You can kind of see. All right, so we'll hop up in and we'll get started here. So we'll start at the front. I'll kind of work us back here. So, so here's the front area. Hey there. Hey there. Sorry. So here's the front area. Uh, you've got your trolling motor 12 volt and you do have a uh, trim control for the engine up here, which is nice And then you've got a cup holder the slots for holding your tools your pliers, whatever and Obviously here you do have the recessed area for your foot pedal for your trolling motor Then it does have the cover that goes with it. Uh, I'm not going to press it down in there So just kind of check that out there. So it's got two of these swivel seats. We're just kind of setting on, you know, up front of the boat, wherever. There's quite a few mount points for them throughout the boat. What's nice about these seats, as opposed to a lot of others, is that it has this area on it where it comes down here in front. Uh, so a lot of you guys, bass fishermen that are standing up in the front of your boat, you lean on your seats. A lot of you guys will spin your chairs around and you'll lean on the back of the seat. Well, that's what that section's for. You can kind of just stand up and lean against it. All right, so we'll start with these storage compartments here. So these front two do lock, and the bigger ones here in the rear 
they do not have a lock but they do have the gas piston on them to stay up so I mean just absolutely massive storage compartments now here's another cool thing that they are doing on the bass boat so if you know anything about Lund boats, you know that they have the sport track system, which here you can kind of see on the side of the boat. That lets you attach Lund accessories uh, to a rack system. No drilling holes in the boat. No, you know, you can move everything quickly. Your da whatever, down riggers, cup holders, rod holder, extra rod holders. They're putting that now on the bass boat in the rail of almost all the storage compartments. So you can put snaps on there or whatever you can get to fit on that rail for some added storage organization. Really kind of a smart thinking um, by Lund there. So we'll open up the other side. So again, same thing on the left side that you have on the right. You have the gas piston to keep the uh, compartment the lid open on the back larger compartment and you have a lock on the front one again the sport track system is in the rails of it and then you have a uh, some plastic racks that hold your lights so that's kind of nice so we'll close those up Okay, so before we look into the uh, center rod storage here, let's take a look at these. So a lot of other bass boats have these. Uh, it's um, basically a quick tie down for your rods that you're putting just up on the deck when you're moving. So they do stow away in there if you'd like them to. So you put one of those over one end, one of those over another. And then actually on the left side of the boat, there's actually another one back here. So you could really put two rows of rods on the deck while you're, while you're moving on that side. On the right side, you do just have these two because the console gets in your way. So, all right, we'll take a look here. This is what all the bass guys actually want to see. This is the center rod storage. So, space for 15 rods. And I'll show you kind of the, uh, the end system here. So you got that front one going across for five shorter ones. And then we can fit some longer ones here up on these two rails. Now again, this compartment has the sport track system in the rail of it. So again, you can connect any of those sport track accessories into it. Another thing I'd want to point out here is we'll take this cover off in a minute, but when this cover's on, you can actually fit four tackle boxes set on their sides along the sides here. You can fit two on each side. So they didn't just make this cover to just kind of go across and be square. They purposely made a cut out there so you can fit tackle boxes in there. So we'll take this out and take a look. So, under that cover, it's kind of hard to see, but in the front you've got your two trays for your trolling motor batteries. And then you have two more kind of separated bays there. Uh, you know, mounting your onboard chargers or more trays for batteries. So we'll slide this cover back in. Yeah, and then again, you have two gas shocks on it to hold the lid up, and of course your center rod storage locks. So we'll kind of just keep moving our way along back. So 
in the, the area where you're sitting here, you do have the vinyl floors. This step here, kind of go through that. This is actually your cooler as well. So you open it up and the cooler fits right down in there. Fits honestly almost perfectly snug in there. So you hit a wave or something, it's not gonna uh, bounce all over the place. Break your pops open or whatever you got in there. So we'll take a look kind of over here on the left side. So I'm sitting in the left seat. This, uh, this foot panel here is uh, kind of, it's angled and recessed. It really is pretty comfortable. I mean, I'm a tall guy, I'm six foot one and my legs are 100% all the way out, not bent. So really, uh, really a lot more space than maybe the pictures show uh, in these seats. This is where your bump stick goes, your ruler. Um, we don't have it in the boat right now. But Lund is sending us one and um, there's videos there's videos on Lund's website about that bump stick. It's just a ruler and it slides right in here. Um, <clears throat> so that you've got somewhere to stow it away. So, I suppose before we look over at the console, I'll kind of show you guys the seats here. Um, way more padding than any of Lund's other seats. I mean, they're really um, at, just super comfortable to sit in. You feel like you're sitting in a recliner, honestly. Really well done. And then between them, you've got a cup holder. In both of the spaces between the seats and then you, you've got a handle as well then there's another handle on the left side of the boat here so we'll take a look at the console now so here's the front of it so again you can kind of see the spec in the uh, fiberglass here take a look at the windshield it does have sort of a tint to it it's got a Lund logo in there and as we come around so the, uh, the steering wheel does adjust up and down. And then you've got a flat panel there for really whatever fish finder you want to flush mount in there. Even if you don't flush mount it, you have, I mean, more room than you're going to need for anything you're going to mount in there. So we'll take a look at the gauges here. Obviously you got your fuel and your speedometer. You got your trim and your tag. Switches are uh, really nice. I mean, really easy to just kind of really easy to locate, get your fingers on them, and it's not like a flat toggle switch where it can get wet and you're slipping all over it. Um, so they're both like that on either side, and obviously it's got the master power switch that you know all Lund boats have. Turn that off. No power is going to anything when you get in at uh, at night or whenever you put your boat in. So you're not worrying about your battery being dead when you go out, uh, whether that's in the morning or the next time that you go out, whether you've got it stored in the garage, flip that switch and you don't gotta worry about that. So to the right of those switches on the, uh, on the right side there, you got your ignition. And then, so as we kind of move down the side wall of the cockpit area, you've got a 12 volt outlet a cup holder, that's the fuse panel. Uh, you've got kind of a long storage area here, which I've got the extinguisher setting in, but we'll take a look at that. And actually another cup holder uh, right to the right, kind of on the side of the seat. So you've got the control for the outboard, obviously. And then again, you do have that tilted angled uh, foot plate area there, and then there is a spot to put a hot foot throttle in. If, uh, if that's what you wanted to do. Okay, so, uh, so standing up here in the bow area, just kind of look at the cockpit area. Uh, to the right of the 
or excuse me, to the left of the left seat, you do have a, uh, a long open storage compartment that, that you know, whoever's sitting there can kind of just set whatever in there uh, to have it right by them, easy to get out, no doors, no lids. So, and then it, it does have this area of the deck where you can walk, you can walk from the front to the back of the boat without stepping in the cockpit. Now, if that's what you're gonna do, being that the live well is in the center of the boat there, this does fold down and it has like a weathered, this middle seat has like a, um, like a tough vinyl coating on it so that if you're, you know, you're stepping on it with your boots or whatever and you're walking all over the boat, you're not gonna, you're not gonna mess up the, the back of that seat and you can kind of wash it off easily. So as you're walking straight from the, the bow area, you step down, you go up. So we'll take a look at this. So this does lock. I'll show you before I pull it up. So, I'm trying to think of the right place to look at this here, but. So there's nine tackle boxes in that. And it's it's just in a track system. It pulls straight up and then it stays up. It doesn't, it's not like you gotta hold it up while you pick what tackle box you're picking out of it. Um, very cool. Kind of a, a nice location for the guy that's sitting in that swivel seat. So then obviously it just... Pushes right back down. And then it locks. So right behind that... Is your live well so it does have a separator it does it also has two separate doors for each side of it so you know you can you're out fishing with your buddy you know which fish are yours and which fish are his and again even the live well has the sport track around the rim of the of where the lids sit on there. So another thing that I sort of forgot in this cockpit area, I'm gonna come back here, I'll show you. This does fold up. The bottom of those seats and the middle seat fold up. And there's a ton of storage down here. It actually, and it's hard to show with the camera, but the center section goes all the way in under where those tackle boxes pushed up. So basically between this line here and this line here, it extends about another foot to 18 inches back behind that. I mean, you could just fit a ton of tackle boxes in this. You honestly could probably fit a couple extra rods in here, being that 15 in the center rod storage plus whatever you had strapped down on the deck on both sides wasn't enough. All right, so took a look at the live well, took a look at the uh, pop-up tackle storage. So on either side of that, we got this storage compartment that the lid opens towards the outside of the boat. Really big, really big storage compartment. I mean, you could you could fit almost a, another you could fit another cooler in there. So let's, and again, it's got the sport track in the lid, and then behind that, got one that's um, a little smaller. But this one again, it extends back. You can see the side of it here. It extends back um, under this seat base here. So on the other side here, got the same setup. In that back one on this side, you've got the tray for your crank battery and then your oil, your oil container for the Optimax. 
And then again, you've got the same size, you know, cooler size storage back here. And again, the sport track system in the rail. So we'll close those up. So for these swivel seats, you've got two mount you got a mount point on either side back here, on either side of the ski pylon base. And then you've got one up front. So we'll kind of just take a, uh, a, a quick look here at the interior. I'm trying to think of anything that I've forgotten about it. Really just, they just really have hit the nail on the head with this boat. So all right, we'll, uh, we'll step out of the boat, take a look at the outside one more time. So again, this is a 2016 Lund 1875 Pro V Bass. You got any questions about it? Leave me a comment in the YouTube video. We try to get to them as quick as we can. Like and subscribe. I've got 2016 boats coming in like crazy right now. We're taking uh, videos of as many as we can. If you know anybody that's in the market for a bass boat or interested that in, uh, in this one, they know that Lund's coming out with one. A lot of people do. Uh, share it. 